Hello, I'm Vijay Kumar. I'm the Deputy Dean for Education at the School of Engineering and Applied Science at the University of Pennsylvania. I'm speaking to you from Philadelphia, where it's a chilly 12 degrees Fahrenheit. And for those of you who know your arithmetic and can do it quickly, this is less than minus 11 degrees centigrade. I do have a feeling, however, that it's a little warmer there, if not just because of the weather, at least because of the fervor and the excitement of the new Young India Fellowship Program. This is a great day for our university and our school, and I really regret not being able to participate at this event in person, but it's a delight to be able to at least participate virtually through this video. At Penn, we strongly believe in teaching professional skills, but in a broader setting, which emphasizes the liberal arts and characteristic of an Ivy League institution. When I first heard of the Young India Fellowship Program from Dr. Pramat Sinha, I knew we shared a common vision. The Young India Fellowship is quite simply a wonderful program. It's unique in terms of its curriculum and clearly the first of its kind in India, and also represents the first educational partnership for Penn in India. Penn has a legacy of high quality educational programs, and there's no question in my mind that this collaboration is destined for success. Our involvement in this program is multifaceted. Our faculty, who come from diverse backgrounds, will teach in this program. We will enrich the courses by collaborating on the design and the delivery of the coursework. The students will benefit from the Penn Engineering Network of Innovators, which include engineers, scientists, inventors, entrepreneurs, and educators. I'm confident that the students will gain national and international recognition as rising young global leaders and emerge as the very best of their generation. In conclusion, I do want to thank the many individuals, companies, and foundations who have generously supported this initiative, especially for placing their confidence in us. I want to congratulate everyone and look forward to the day when we'll celebrate the ine inevitable success of the new Ashoka University. Thank you.